Welcome to The Loft at Home. I'm Nick Pato from TriNerds, and today I'm gonna to take you through a hot, sweaty, low cadence, strength-based session. So grab your water bottle, grab your towel, and let's get ready to ride. Alright, so today we're going to start with a quick little warm up. We're then going to go into a couple ramp sessions where we're just going to build our intensity, build our intensity a few times through. Nice little break for you. Then we're going to start hard with some low cadence, high cadence efforts. Get your legs primed. Take a little bit of a break again. Then we have two big main sets, each comprising of three stages. It's a low cadence and a high cadence and then a rest. We're going to go three times through. We're seated the whole time. Then our second round, again, we're starting low cadence, but then we're gonna jam it into an up, standing up 30 second effort, and that's gonna be our high cadence set before we rest. Three rounds there, then a cool down, and that's it for today. It's gonna to be nice and easy. All right. Welcome to another spin session at the loft. Let's get warming up here. I want everyone warming those legs up, take it to a nice, easy uh, effort here. We're trying to keep it around 85, 95 RPM. Get those legs warmed up. Get that heart rate up. Try and get ready. We got a big set we're gonna do here today. I want you around if you know uh, what any of your like threshold metrics or any of that junk is. Just go for like 50% or RPE. Take it about a five out of 10. 10 being that absolute max effort. Five is like a nice, comfortable. You feel a little bit of work. You're not working that hard, not yet. We're gonna take five minutes here. Our uh, main sets today that we're going through. So we're gonna start off with some power ramp ups. We're gonna build power. We're gonna do a couple sets there. We're then gonna go right into the hard stuff. This is only a 45 minute session, so it's gonna go fast. We're gonna go right into those sets. Three set, three step sets. And on those three step sets, we're gonna do a strong seated effort, then a fast seated effort, then a rest. We're gonna do a couple rounds of that, three rounds. Take a little bit of a break, rally, drink some water, go into our next three step set. Those three step sets are gonna be seated and then out of the saddle and then rest. We're gonna do another three rounds there and then that's it. You're gonna go right into a cool down. Sounds short, sounds easy, but this is gonna be a big game day today for you. Big power challenge. We're gonna play with some high cadence. We're gonna play with some low cadence. We're gonna play with some seated. We're gonna play with some standing. All right. While we're here warming it up, let's focus on some good form. Keeping those shoulders dropped down, lengthen out that spine just a little bit. Keep that diaphragm open so you breathe deep into that low belly breath. Trying to avoid breathing just into your ribs, just into the intercostals. Try and breathe down nice and low. Every breath in, lengthen out that spine, getting nice and tall, and every breath out, drop those shoulders down, relax them just a little bit. All right, we're just about halfway done. Just a little warm up here. If you want to spice it up just a little bit, let's throw a little bit of tension in there again. Just a little bit. Keeping that kins nice and steady, 85 to 95. If you want to do a couple little speed increases here, feel free to add something in just to spice up your life. You don't have to, you can keep it nice and steady. You should feel like you're riding outside on a nice flat country road. Feels great at this level. This is the easy part. Warm up is great. All right, two more minutes here. Trying to keep that cadence nice and steady. If you have a cadence meter, or something to tell you how fast your legs are moving, try and keep it at 85 to 95 zone. If not, you can just watch the clock, count how many pedal strokes you're taking in 15 seconds, give that a quick multiplication by four, that's how many pedal strokes you're doing in a minute, and try and get within that 85 to 95 RPM on rotation per minute. Nice and steady here, deep breath in, lengthen, and deep breath out. Drop those shoulders down. If you don't have a water bottle right beside you right now, now is a good time to call your spouse, call your kid, call your dog, 
get them to bring a water bottle over for you. Maybe you need a towel, you might need a fan, something to keep it cool. We're gonna heat it up today. You're gonna see we're gonna get nice and sweaty. There's gonna be a lot of sweat dripping here today. Keep that nice, steady, relaxing breath. As you get used to this effort, as your body warms up, you can switch to feel easier and easier. If you want to add in a little bit more here, you can feel free to add in just a little more, just to keep that warm up going. Nice and consistent increase in effort. All right, you got 40 seconds left here. From this warm up, we're gonna go right into our first set. On that first set, we're gonna do four ramp ups twice in a row. 30 seconds on each step. You're just gonna go up in resistance, up, 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 up. 30, 30, 30, 30. Then back down to the base. We're gonna do two rounds just like that. How much you increase it doesn't matter as much as long as you are increasing it on every step. Maybe the first round, be a little conservative. On the second round, we'll push a little harder. Here we go, we're going in three, two, and first one here, add just a little bit more resistance here. Keep those shoulders dropped down. We're staying in the saddle. We're not getting up yet. This whole seated, this whole effort is seated. That's in the saddle, in the seat. Trying to keep that cadence the same as it was when we started, 85 to 95. Small little increases here. Next increase is in four, three, two, and add it in to give it just a little bit more. Not big steps here, not big steps. If you're on a bike, one gear at a time. If you're on a spin bike, just a little bit of a turn, just a little bit of a turn. Here we go, keep that cadence, 85 to 95. Every breath out, drop those shoulders. Here we go, lengthen on the breath in. Drop the shoulders on the breath out. Here we go. That's two out of four. In three, two, and step it up again. Boom, that's three. Woo. Here we go, we're feeling it, we're feeling good now. Nice and steady controlled effort here. We're still working hard, but we're keeping that effort under control. We can still breathe here. I can talk to you, you can breathe, you can talk. Here we go. Deep breath in. Lengthen, breath out, drop the shoulders. First time on four, four here. In three, two, and one more. Add it in. Keep that cadence controlled here. Don't let it dip down. As the intensity goes up, your cadence wants to slow down. Don't let it. That's not what we're here for. We're here to work harder. Here we go. This is step four of four. From here, we're gonna go back down to where we started. Just slightly above your flat road in three, two, and take off just a little bit. However much you added on that last interval, bringing it back down. For back to step one of that four step. Control that cadence, control that power. Keep it 85 to 95 RPM. Here we go. Back on one of four. In three, two, and add it in. Just a little bit, just a little turn. Just one gear. Drop those shoulders. Power goes right into those legs. We're not wasting any power or energy with any bouncing. Keep it in the saddle. Keep it in the saddle. That's where you're most efficient. Push through from those hips. Extend those heels down. Ooh, I can feel myself a little bit more. I don't know what you're talking about. Here we go. You got four, three, two, and add it in again. Here we go. That's three or four on our second round. From this two of two. After this, we're taking a rest. We're gonna have a nice light recovery. One more stage here, then we'll have some time off. Here we go, keep that cadence nice and steady. Keep it controlled. We're moving, we're moving. Here we go. You got four, three, two, and add it in. Give it just a little bit more. All right. This is the top, top of the ramp. Woo! Feeling good. Keep that strong breath. Deep, deep breath down into that diaphragm. 
Oh yeah. Drop those shoulders. Lengthen that spine. Keeping that cadence up. A few more seconds here. Then we're going to a flat road recovery. In three, two, and down. Nice and easy. One minute off. Take to a flat road. Easy spin. <sighs> Relax those legs. All right. That was a quick warm up. It was good. Hopefully your legs are awake. You got some power in those legs again. From here, we're gonna go into our first uh, three step repeat. We're in three rounds, that's three steps per set. We're gonna start off in the saddle, heavy climb, two minutes in the saddle, low cadence, so like 70 to 80 RPM. Then we're gonna keep the power, keep the resistance, spin up the legs, and get a little bit of like a sub sprint. So it's not a max sprint, but it's definitely working hard getting those legs turned over at that resistance. We've got 10 seconds here. And we're gonna go into our first round. So we want you about a seven out of 10 to start here in three, two, and add in some resistance here. And from here, we're gonna do 10 seconds up, and then we'll take, go back down. Three, two, and 10 seconds up, high cadence. Spin those legs up. Two step repeats, sorry. Three, two, and back to low. Low cadence. Back down to that seven out of 10. Nice and steady controlled here for 20. Cadence isn't low enough. Three, two, and pick it up. Get a little bit of high cadence here. Three, two, and low cadence. I need more tension. It's too easy to keep my cadence up. There we go. That's what I need. Here we go, 70 to 80. Three, two, and up. Oh. Here we go, pick up that cadence. In that 85 to 95 range again. Three, two, and bring it down. Nice and controlled. This is four out of six. Here we go, turn those legs, keep it low. Three, two, and pick it up. Get that cadence up, get that cadence up. Three, two, and down. Back in that 70 to 80. Lower that cadence is five or six. Spin those legs, turn them over. Drop those shoulders. Here we go. You got four, three, two, and pick it up again. 85 to 95. Get that cadence up, get that cadence up. Turn it over. Three, two, and down. Nice and steady. Control that effort in the saddle. Here we go, 70 to 80. Low cadence, high effort, seven out of 10. Four, three, two, and pick it up for 10. You got another three, two, and down, rest. We're gonna take one minute off here. All right. Woo. First 30 seconds here. Try and keep that cadence up just a little bit. In that 80 to 90 range. In the next 30 seconds, bring it back up to 85 to 95. We got 10 more here. So you keep it down 80 to 90. Then I want you to boost it by five to 10 in three, two, and give it just a little more on that active recovery. All right, now we're on our three step repeats. Whew. Three step building off that two step. Uh, this time we're two minutes down. 
One minute high cadence, two minute low cadence, one minute high cadence, one minute off. So turn those legs over, keep them spinning. We're going in four, three, two, and start at that same baseline. Seven out of 10 here. Turn those legs over, low cadence, 70 to 80. So make sure we get enough resistance in there. Heavy enough gear. Woo. Here we go. Nice, strong two minute effort here. Woo. It's heating up, heating up now. Let's go. Remember at any time, if you need to drink water, you just take a sip. Don't take a break though. Just take a sip, you can drink water and still work hard. Dessert. Mmm. Hydrating. Wow. You can do that. Just because you take a sip of water doesn't mean you need to slow your legs down. But make sure you drink water. Keep focusing on keeping those shoulders drop down. Nice and low. Relax them. This is a big build from our two-step effort. These long sustained sets now. You have just under a minute here. Then we're doing one minute on this gear at high cadence. So remember, you're just bumping it up from 70 to 80 RPM up to 85 to 95. These are gonna be the heavy efforts. Relax those shoulders down. Keep that length in the spine. 30 more here. And we're gonna pick it up. Nice deep breaths down to that diaphragm. After the one minute effort, you're gonna have a nice one minute recovery. You can totally take a sip of water then too. If you don't like drinking while well, exercise. Here we go. Our one minute high cadence effort. In three, two, and pick it up. Give it just a little bit of speed for one minute up here. 85 to 95. Get that cadence up. Keep it up. Turn it over. Turn it over. Big strong effort here. Relax those shoulders. Focus on those legs. Power into those legs. Remember the less you work your shoulders in it, the more efficient you're gonna be. You need less oxygen. Be as efficient as you can. Keep those hips in the saddle. Push from a firm braced core. It's not flexed, it's braced. Keeping those hips level, push from those hips. Here we go. 10 more seconds here. Then we're on that flat road recovery. Three, two, and bring it on down on that rest. Flat road, got one minute off. That's the first of three. One of three. Woo. Remember, it's active recovery. As always, we're never on a totally relaxed recovery. You still have that like five out of 10 for your RPE, or rate of perceived exertion. You're still working 85 to 95 RPM on this active recovery. Then we're going to do our second round at that low cadence. Drink up while you can. You have about 20 seconds left here. You got a towel, feel free to towel off a bit. Get some of that sweat off your brow. Or just wear a headband. Maybe you never have to wipe that sweat off your head. I mean, you still do, but not as much. Here we go, next round. Three, two, and take it back up. Low cadence, remember. I struggle with low cadence, man. Low cadence hurts. 70 to 80 RPM. Keep those shoulders dropped down. You're at a seven out of 10. On that RPE, try and find that sweet spot. Hold it for two minutes. Oh, my cadence always dips up to like 83, 85. Calm down, Nick. Bring it on down. Bring it on down. There we go, 80, 79. Remember, if you don't have that cadence meter, just take 15 seconds on the clock. Count out one leg. Then you're just gonna quadruple it. Whew. Here we go. 
steady or controlled. So this is a two minute seated effort in the saddle. Located. Oh, I'm 78. I'm beautiful right now. Look at that. Look at that cadence. That's what we like. So satisfying when you get in the right zone. Ah, it's wonderful. Nice and controlled. Drop those shoulders. Breathe really deep in that diaphragm. Control breath out. Drop those traps. Every time we breathe out. Woo! Yeah. I'm sweating good over here. I hope you're sweating good too. We're making progress. We're making fitness. That's what we're doing here. Here we go. The forge of your dreams. That's where we forge dreams. Make them happen. Woo. It's always hot in the middle of a forge, right? I've never spent time in a forge. But I see there's fire. I know it's hot. Here we go. I'm no blacksmith, but you know, I know hot when I see it. Three, two, and pick up that cadence. Hit 85, 85 to 95, you're on that same gear. Don't cheat yourself. Don't make it easier. Pick up that cadence and work for it. After this set, you'll get a recovery, but not until then. Now, I didn't touch mine. You don't have to touch yours. Here we go, keep that power up. Cadence up. Stay alive, feel alive. 30 seconds. Keep pumping it. Keep pumping it. This is round two, three. Oh, we got one more of these. But don't worry, we got a rest in between. Keep that power up. Keep that power up. Cadence up. 85 plus. 85 or higher. Come on. Almost done it. Three, two, and rest. Active rest. It's not passive. We're still doing a little bit of work here. Ooh, not that much work. A little less than that. There we go. Ah, a little less than that. Here we go. About 50%. Your threshold. Only a five out of 10 RPE. It's one of those lovely points in the class with two line up. Evenly. Whew. All right, 30 more seconds here. Then we're going in round three of three. All right. Get those legs ready. Keep them turning. Spin them up. Hydrate. Oh, that good hydration. Sweet, sweet sensation. Drink up the Marky Mark. You have four, three, two, you know it, seven out of 10. Low cadence, 70 to 80 RPM. Slowing those legs down. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice, deep, constant breaths. Keep it controlled. Breathe deep in that diaphragm. Try and fill that low belly first. That's where we send the air first. Go from the bottom up and exhale from the top down in reverse order. Here we go. Keep it controlled. Oh, good stuff, man. This is good stuff. Relax those shoulders, every breath out. Check that cadence. Remember, no cadence meter. It's not an excuse to have high cadence. Count it. Count one leg. 15 seconds. Just count it. One, two, three, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. There we go. You can map that at home. I can't do that in my head. That's too much for me. Whew. 18 and 2 is 36. And 2 is 72. Set 76. Close enough. Here we go. 30 more seconds here. We got one more high kidding set. We're going to pump it up to 85 again. One last time. Oh, yeah. 
Feeling great. Feeling great. Hard work is what we're here for. Right? Always hard work. Always. Three, two, and pick it on up. Turn it over. 85 to 95. Same gear. Unless you want to turn it up. You always make it harder. I don't mind. Big power here. Keep that kids up, shoulders down. Breathe deep. Control breaths. No. You can even control your perception of effort with your breath. Forcefully slowing down that breath. Keeping the power up though makes it feel a little easier. Remember, you're in control. You are in control. Force those deep breaths. A few more seconds here. Then we'll take a long recovery. Three, two, and down. You have one minute easy here. Then you're gonna take a little bonus rest after this. So, active recovery here. Don't let it drop down too far. I put it down too far in my haste to get out of that workload. But hey, I just put it back up again. We all make mistakes. Whew. That's how we correct if it counts. Now I put it up too high. There we go. Now's a great time to drink some water. And of course, at any time, if you feel like your heart rate's getting too high, if you're a little uncomfortable, you just hop off, take a quick stretch. The goal is to stay in the saddle and keep moving. You always work at your pace. You always work at your ability. And if you need to hop off, that's fine. We're gonna go into a passive recovery here. So a light recovery in three, two, and nice and easy. You're gonna have two minutes off here. Two minutes of easy rest. So you can take it down just a little bit here. We're gonna rally. Get our breath together, get our strength again. Maybe we sit it up a little bit. Stretch out that upper body a little. Now roll the shoulders back. Open that chest, get a little stretch behind. Oh, crack that back a little bit, maybe. Cool. Always a good feeling. Keep it nice and steady here, though. Maybe that neck needs a little bit of love. Ah, oh, man. Always keep drinking. Ah, oh, yes. All right, so we're coming in for our last workload. It's another three-step, same style of drill. Our timer's gonna go off, giving you an extra minute here. Um, that's your final minute countdown. So we've got one minute before our last effort. So same three-step effort. We're gonna keep that cadence low again in the saddle on the first step. First step is a little bit longer. We're in two and a half minutes. So we're gonna go 30 seconds. You're gonna add in some tension, add in a gear or two, shift it up. You're gonna go out of saddle and you're gonna hammer. It's gonna suck. You're gonna hate it while it's happening. But then after, you're gonna be like, oh my God, that was amazing. I can't believe I felt so good. It always feels a lot better once you're done. Never in the moment though, never in the moment. Why? I don't know, man. 15 seconds to go here, just under. So we're starting at that same seven out of 10 effort, but we're going a little bit longer. Same low cadence here. Three, two, and take it on. All right. Nice and strong down here. That's 70 to 80. Keep those hips in the saddle push. Sorry, we're going two minutes and then 30 seconds out of saddle. Two and 30. Keep those shoulders dropped down. Don't remember if that's what I said, but it's what I said now. It's what you get. All right. Nice and strong. Control that effort. 
position in the saddle. Using those deep breaths. Remember, use that breath to stay in control of your perceived effort. If your breathing is under control, your body feels like it's a lot easier. The work doesn't seem as hard. If you start losing control of your breath, hyperventilating, that's when you feel that intensity go up, up, up. Obviously, the harder the work, the harder the work, the harder you're gonna breathe. But there's a psychological connection there too. You can control that. It goes both ways. 30 more seconds here. Then we're gonna stand it up, and everyone's gonna add in some resistance. You need 30 seconds hard out of saddle. Trying to push that cadence. You need 70 to 80 here. And out of saddle, 70, 75, 80, 85. That's what you're gonna go for. In three, two, and add it in. Take it up. Push those legs. Eight, nine out of 10 on that perceived exertion. Keep that cadence up. Turn those legs over. Let's get a little more. We always want more. More, more, more. Our saddle feels great now. The first set, it's always the best set. Feels the best. Three, two, and sit down recovery. 90 seconds off. Yes, it's active recovery. So not too easy. Keep it controlled. Keep it steady. All right. 90 off here. Keep breathing. When you can, take that sip of water. You don't have to do it right away. When you can, start taking that water in again. You're gonna need it as you get into these harder sets. More and more, you're gonna want it. The more you hydrate before these efforts, the better you're gonna feel. Hopefully you've got some electrolytes in those bottles as well. It really helps with maintaining hydration. But really, the hydration level that you're at when you're doing these workouts is mostly based off of how you hydrated the day before. So whenever you do a workout, you know you have a workout the next day, make sure you're hydrating the night before. Have that glass of water before bed. Get those electrolytes in before dinner the night before. Make sure you're hydrated. It'll hurt less during the efforts. Here we go. Speaking of hurting less, we're gonna hurt more. In three, two, and in the saddle, right back into that heavy seated effort. There we go. Strong and controlled here. Strong and controlled effort. Push that pace. Keep those legs moving. My cadence is too high. Once again, 82. Come on, 80. There we go. 79. That's what we like. Go. A little more resistance. That'll slow the legs down. There we go. Keep that control of the breath. Remember, you're in control. You want your muscles hurting more than your lungs on these low cadence efforts. These are big strength based efforts. Feel that burn deep in those quads on these low cadence sets. Woo. Burn, baby. Burn. This is what you came for. This is what you came for. One more minute here. Then we have that 30 second out of saddle hustle. Keep that push. Keep that push. Control that breath rate. Breathe deep in that diaphragm. Relax those shoulders. On the breath out. Here we go. Nice controlled effort. Breathe deep. Focus in. Extend those quads. Just under 30 seconds to go here. And we're up out of saddle again. Here 
we go. Remember when we stand up, turn it up, get that intensity up. We're gonna pedal fast on a heavier gear. Out of saddle in four, three, two, and up. 30 seconds up here. Big push. 30 seconds up here. Hammer, hammer. Oh yeah. Get that cadence up. 70 to 90, whatever you gotta hit. Just make sure the gear is heavier. We're working harder for three, two, and down. Flat, active recovery. Woo. Regain control of that breath. Keep it steady, keep it easy. After those sprint sets, soon you can regain control of that breath the better it's gonna feel for the rest of your recovery. We got one more minute here. Keep that control. Oh yeah. Get that good hydration. That's what we need. Drink it up, drink it up. Whew. Yo, one more to go. That's it, no problem. We got one more of those sets, then it's time for you to cool down and stretch. Easy, man. Life's good. We got about 20 seconds left here, and we'll get into that last round. We'll hammer it out, and then we'll drink some water and stretch out after. Alright, we're going in four, three, two, and last time through here, 70 to 80 RPM. Shoot that cadence down right away. Here we go, 80. Come on, I can go lower. 79, oh yeah. Woo! If you're a cyclist and you typically have a cadence that's like 80, 85. Push that cadence on these sets down to the lows, down to 70. Even if you want to go down to 65, that's fine. When you're working low cadence, you want you working relatively low cadence, low cadence for you. Here we go. Keep that strength based climb going. Nice and strong. I'm feeling it down here. We're feeling it. One more minute here. Then we have our standing effort. Drop those shoulders. Breathe deep. Lengthen through the spine. Not hyperextending. Lengthening. Big difference. Keep it on, keep it on. 30 more seconds here. After this last one here, this last standing effort, we have 90 seconds of active recovery before we go into that easy recovery. So remember, after this, don't just turn it off. Control it. Three, two, and up. Here we go. Big heavy standing effort. Push those legs up here. Make them burn. 15 seconds. Then we have our active recovery. 10 seconds. Push it just a little more. Here we go. Last five. Give it more. Four. Three, two, and down, active. Don't stop. Active recovery for 90. Don't let it slip away yet. Hold on to it, hold on to it. Active recovery is 
just as important as the effort. Your heart rate has to be able to regain control even though you're working. Give it an opportunity to recapture that controlled state, that homeostatic state. Let it try and regain control, but keep working. Can't fall off that guy's wheel, or that girl's wheel, or that guy's wheel. Stay on it, stay on it. Here we go. Nice and controlled here. Still working in that 85 to 95 range. You got 30 seconds. There we go. Last 20, then you can take it to a full recovery. In 15, spin those legs, keep moving. Let that heart rate drop just a little. Just a little bit. You got four, three, two, and boom. Take that tension down. We got five minutes here. Just spin it out, cool down. Make it nice and light, nice and easy. Woo. Sit it up nice and tall. <sighs> open up that chest, open up that diaphragm, open up that thoracic cavity. Ooh. Everything's sticking. It's the best. Soaked. Absolutely soaked. Sit up nice and tall. <sighs> Take a few deep breaths. Remember, you can put your fingers on that diaphragm, just on the outside of your belly button. Breathe in, fill it up, breathe it out. Fill it up, breathe it out. Lengthen, get tall as you breathe in. Relax your shoulders down as you breathe it out. Once you got the hand that, you know, with those arms relax. So start just rolling those shoulders a little bit. Opening up. Opening up that chest again. That thoracic cavity. And Opposite direction, give it a few rotations. Keeping those legs turning here. And relax. You can interlace your fingers behind your back. So they're interlaced and then press your palms down and away. So I'm gonna interlace behind, press the palms down and away. Again, opening up that chest. You spend so much time on the bike, folding forward in that kyphotic closed position. Open, lengthen, open. Deep breaths, controlled breaths. And relax. Take one arm, cross it over the chest, front of the chest, drop that shoulder down so it's not right up in your ear. Relax it down, loosen it, and then pull that bicep across the chest. Just lightly, you should feel this in the back of your shoulder. Feels great. Switch sides. Relax that shoulder down. Pull it across. Lengthen. Get that little stretch there. And relax. Alright. We can stand it up on those bikes. Bring your feet parallel to the floor so it's like you're standing with both feet level. Straighten your legs. Drop your heels down. Send your hips back and use your hands for support. And just keep your back nice and long. Lengthen back as far as you can. You should feel this down the back of your leg, your hamstrings, and through your calf, the back of the calf. Maybe feel it down in that heel if you've got a super tight Achilles. So let those heels drop down and those hips soak back. Try not to arch your spine. Keep that spine nice and long. That'll help you stretch out that hamstring. Switch lead legs, so bring your feet parallel, drop those heels down, flatten the back, and then shoot those hips back as far as you can. Get that nice deep stretch. Feel it deep in those calves, deep in those hamstrings. Really let those heels sink down. Press those heels down as much as you can. And relax. You can either hop off the bike or stay on it here. Your choice. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna take your leg, we're gonna cross it over your knee, and then you're just gonna fold forward, 
Get a little bit of stretch there. If you've got a top tube, you can just leave the leg on the top tube even, or on your handlebars if it's close to you. Or, if you're off the bike, just right beside, heel across, and then pull it forward. Whatever is most comfortable for you. And relax. Switch sides. Lengthen, cross over, and reach down. And relax. Last one. I'm just gonna get a little bit of lengthening across the hip flexor. Nice and tall again. You can hop off the bike or stay seated on the bike. Your choice. Did it, that's it. That's your session for the day. Make sure you hydrate, make sure you get some nutritious to eat, take care of your body, and until next time.